Good Saturday morning to you. I'm Marcelino Benito alongside KHU political analyst Brandon Roddinghouse. A verdict has been reached in the impeachment trial for suspended Attorney General Ken Paxton. Texas Senate officials announced at 945 this morning they were ready to vote. That vote was scheduled for 1030 this morning on the Senate floor and after a 40 minute delay, it is just now about to get started. I want to take you inside the chambers there, take a live look at the Senate floor where the verdict vote is about to take place. We know there will be a series of 16 votes, one for each article of impeachment. So Brandon, give us a take on what we're about to witness here. This is a, an historic day. We don't do this in Texas very often. Impeachment is a very rare thing. We are going to see uh, a lot of voting today. <laughs> We're going to see 16 separate votes. Each of the members is going to stand up at their desk. They're going to give their impressions about how they should be a rule on this guilt or innocence. And so we'll get a sense of Ken Paxton's political future in just a few minutes. There's a lot at stake for Ken Paxton here. All it takes is one article to be upheld and he's and he's gone. That's right? right. And as a reminder, we need 21 votes basically to be able to convict the attorney general. We know that the support he's got probably is at about six. And so we're talking probably about four to five Republicans who are going to have to shift their vote to vote against Ken Paxson to put him out of office. So we know 12 Democrats likely will all mm. vote uh, to, to remove him from office. Mm. We need about nine Republicans. Mm. Um, that seems like a heavy lift, but after eight days of testimony, it's something we'll be watching closely, right? It's going to be something that will be dependent on the evidence and on the article. There's a lot of details that the senators have seen the last couple of weeks. The attorneys laid out a significant portion of these over the past few weeks, and we're going to definitely get a sense of how vulnerable Ken Paxson is on some of these charges. Now, producers, correct me because I don't have audio inside the chamber, but is the prayer going on right now? Is that what we're seeing? Okay. So we, we've seen this now for, this is day 10 before, uh, before the day begins. They always do their prayer. So that's what's happening now before we see the vote actually begin to take place. Now, Brandon, it seems like that prayer just wrapped up. We, we were together at the beginning of this <laughs> trial and we saw them vote on those uh, pretrial motions. Are we gonna see that same style of voting, uh, the same logistics as they vote on, on these articles now? It'll be very similar, yes. The logistics of it will be more or less the same. We're gonna see them stand up. They each have to give their verdict on this and uh, it'll take a little time. Let's listen in to the Lieutenant Governor. We have a we have a Bible study back there that most of the, the senators attend, that we come out here as we did this year, we stand in a circle and we hold each other's hands and we pray uh, because we know uh, who we answer to ultimately in all the things we do, all 31 members on this floor, and, and uh, it helps bring us together when we deal with difficult issues. Uh, members, I've been informed by Senator Birdwell, the chairman of the Rules Committee, that you are now prepared to vote on 16 articles of impeachment. As you recall, uh, during the pretrial motions, you will write your vote down on a piece of paper. It will be collected by the bailiffs. Our clerk, Patsy Spa, our secretary of the Senate, is her official title, but clerk of this court. She'll read those at random. Uh, that's different than we normally vote for everyone to know because we normally vote in alphabetical order. And this way, uh, there's, there's no pressure on someone at the front, the middle, or the back of the alphabet. So this way, it's pulled out at random. And then I will confirm your vote um, as we go through each article. Members, you will now vote on Article 1. I will read the article for you each time. Disregard of official duty, protection of charitable organization, while holding office as Attorney General, Warren Kenneth Paxton violated the duties of his office by failing to act as public protector of charitable organizations as required by Chapter 123 of the Property Code. Specifically, Paxton caused employees of his office to intervene in a lawsuit brought by the Roy F. and Joanne Cole Mitty Foundation against several corporate entities controlled by Nate Paul. Paxton harmed the Mitty Foundation in an effort to benefit Paul. A yay vote is to convict. A nay vote is to acquit. Please mark your ballots on the voting form. And again, for everyone watching of the 16 articles, if he is convicted on one article, he is removed from office. Looks like everyone has finished writing. Bailiffs, please collect the ballots.
Uh, all of the ballots in, bailiffs, thank you. Gutierrez, yay. Johnson, yay. Springer, nay. Wartner, nay. Campbell, nay. Nichols, yay. Blanco, yay. La Mantilla, yay. Parker, nay. Hughes, nay. Miles, yay. West, yay. Whitmire, yay. Huffman, nay. Inahosa, yay. Zafarini, yay. Hancock, yay. Eckhart, yay. King, nay. Sparks, nay. Flores, nay. Menendez, yay. Birdwell, nay. Hall, nay. Perry, nay. Cold course, nay. Betancourt, nay. Creighton, nay. Middleton, nay. Alvarado, yay. Reminding the uh, people in the gallery and watching, it takes 21 votes to convict on any one article. Fourteen yeas, sixteen nays. I will now confirm the votes. Alvarado? Yes. Senator Betancourt? Nay. Senator Birdwell? Nay. Senator Blanco? Nay. Senator Campbell? Nay. Senator Creighton? Nay. Senator Eckhart? Nay. Senator Flores? Nay. Senator Gutierrez? Nay. Senator Hall? Nay. Senator Hancock? Nay. Senator Hinojosa? Nay. Senator Hoffman? Nay. Senator Hughes? Nay. Senator Johnson? Nay. Senator King? Nay. Senator Colcourse? Senator Lamantia? Yay. Senator Menendez? Yay. Senator Middleton? Yay. Senator Miles? Yay. Senator Nichols? Yay. Senator Parker? Yay. Senator Perry? Yay. Senator Swartner? Yay. Senator Sparks? Yay. Senator Springer? Yay. Senator West? Yay. Senator Whitmire? Yay. Senator Zaffarini? Yay. Total 14 yeas, 16 nays, a finding of acquittal is entered as to Article 1. Members, you will now vote on Article 2, disregard of official duty, abuse of the opinion process. While holding office as Attorney General, 
Warren Kenneth Paxton misused his official power to issue written legal opinions under subchapter C, chapter 402 government code. Specifically, Paxton caused employees of his office to prepare an opinion in an attempt to avoid the impending foreclosure sales of properties belonging to Nate Paul or business entities controlled by Paul. Paxton concealed his actions by soliciting the chair of a Senate committee to serve as a straw requester. Furthermore, Paxton directed employees of his office to reverse their legal conclusion for the benefit of Paul. Please fill out your forms. I believe you can collect the ballots bailiff. All the ballots are turned in. The clerk will read when ready. La Montilla, yay. Parker, nay. Hughes, nay. Miles, yay. Gutierrez, yay. Johnson, yay. Springer, nay. Shortner, nay. Campbell, nay. Eckhart, yay. King, nay. Sparks, nay. Flores, nay. Blanco, yay. Nichols, yay. West, yay. Whitmire, yay. Huffman, nay. Hinojosa, yay. Zafferini, yay. Cold Course, nay. Hancock, yay. Menendez, yay. Birdwell, nay. Hall, nay. Perry, nay. Betancourt, nay. Creighton, nay. Middleton, nay. Alvarado, yay. Fourteen yays, sixteen nays. I will now pull the jury to confirm the vote. Senator Alvarado? Yeah. Senator Betancourt? Yeah. Senator Birdwell? Yeah. Senator Blanco? Yeah. Senator Campbell? Yeah. 
Senator Creighton. Nay. Senator Eckhart. Nay. Senator Flores. Nay. Senator Gutierrez. Nay. Senator Hall. Nay. Senator Hancock. Nay. Senator Hinojosa. Nay. Senator Hoffman. Nay. Senator Hughes. Nay. Senator Johnson. Nay. Senator King. Nay. Senator Colcourse. Nay. Senator Lavantia. Nay. Senator Menendez. Nay. Senator Middleton. Nay. Senator Miles. Senator Nichols. Hey. Senator Parker. Hey. Senator Perry. Hey. Senator Schwartner. Hey. Senator Sparks. Hey. Senator Springer. Hey. Senator West. Hey. Senator Whitmire. Hey. Senator Zaffarini. Hey. There being 14 yeas, 16 nays, a finding of acquittal is entered for Article 2. Members, you will now be voting on Article 3, disregard of official duty, abuse of the open records process. While holding office as Attorney General, Warren Kenneth Paxton misused his official power to administer the public information law, Chapter 552 of the Government Code. Specifically, Paxton directed employees of his office to act contrary to law by refusing to render a proper decision relating to a public information request for records held by the Department of Public Safety and by issuing a decision involving another public information request that was contrary to law and applicable to legal precedent. A yea vote is to convict, a nay vote is to acquit. Please mark your ballot. So Brandon, two articles in, uh, the Attorney General, suspended Attorney General, uh, acquitted 14 to 16. They're getting two and they need nine. That's right. It doesn't seem like they're getting much closer. Those two were pretty profound. There's lots of evidence and it seems like the jury was not convinced. You may collect the ballots. Right. And now they are voting on Article 3, disregard of official duty, abuse of the open records process. Uh, they just mark their ballots. Let's listen in to the vote counting uh, begin again. You've collected all of the ballots. Thank you. Secretary, the clerk will read them when ready. La Mantilla, yay. Parker, nay. Hughes, nay. Miles, yay. Gutierrez, yay. Johnson, yay. Springer, nay. Wartner, nay. Blanco, yay. Campbell, nay. Nichols, Yay. West, yay. Whitmire, yay. Huffman, nay. Inahosa, yay. Zaffarini, yay. Hancock, yay. Menendez, yay. Birdwell, nay. Hall, nay. Perry, nay. Colcourse, nay. Betancourt, nay. 
Creighton, nay. Middleton, nay. Alvarado, yay. Eckhart, yay. King, nay. Sparks, nay. Flores, nay. Fourteen yeas, sixteen nays. We'll now confirm the voting. Senator Alvarado? Hey. Senator Betancourt? Hey. Senator Birdwell? Hey. Senator Blanco? Hey. Senator Campbell? Hey. Senator Creighton? Hey. Senator Eckhart? Hey. Senator Flores? Hey. Senator Gutierrez? Hey. Senator Hall? Hey. Senator Hancock? Hey. Senator Hinojosa? Hey. Senator Hoffman? Senator Hughes, please speak up. Okay, I can barely hear you. Um, Senator Johnson. Okay. Senator King. Hey. Senator Colcourse. Senator Lamantia. Okay. Senator Menendez. Okay. Senator Middleton. Senator Miles. Okay. Senator Nichols. Okay. Senator Parker. Okay. Senator Perry. Senator Swartner. Senator Sparks. Senator Springer, Senator West, okay. Senator Whitmire, Senator Zaffrani. Yep. There being 14 ayes, 16 nays, the finding of acquittal is entered for Article 3. Members, you are now voting on Article 4, disregard of official duty, misuse of official information. While holding office as Attorney General, Warren Kenneth Paxton misused his official power to administer the Public Information Law, Chapter 552 of the Government Code. Specifically, Paxton improperly obtained access to information held by his office that had not been publicly disclosed for the purpose of providing information to the benefit of Nate Paul. Shall this article of impeachment be sustained? A yea vote is to convict, a nay vote is to acquit. Please mark your ballots. All right, Brandon, another article, Article 3, and uh, Paxton acquitted yet again. Same vote count here. We're seeing the same pattern repeat itself. I think the issue here is that the Republicans who the House managers were hoping would flip haven't. You've only gotten two on these three that have switched their party allegiances to vote in to, uh, to, to make uh, Paxton not guilty or make him guilty. So that's pretty stunning. The House Board of Managers knew going in, it's a heavy lift. Switch having nine Republicans vote against uh, a, an attorney general who is of your party, yeah. that's certainly a heavy lift. And they knew that going in. Please collect the ballot. They did, yes. It's a tough lift. But it's uh, much less uh, than, they, than we saw in those pretrial motions at the outset where they didn't mm. choose to dismiss them. You had more Republicans wanting to at least hear the evidence, which surprised us off the top. Mm. Now we're seeing them sort of come home. Yeah, it seems like the House managers didn't do enough to convince them. So that's certainly why we are where we are today. Alrighty, and so they are collecting the ballots. That's the sort of the process you're going to see for each article of impeachment. They write down their vote on a piece of paper. The bailiff collects those pieces of paper, hands them to the court clerk, who then reads them one by one, and then they have to affirm their vote uh, with their voice by speaking up and uh, speaking out and getting up out of their seat. Uh, so we're about to listen to the vote count on Article Four. Let's listen into that. All the ballots are in. Clerk will read at random the votes. Hancock, nay. Menendez, nay. Birdwell, nay. Hall, nay. Perry, nay. 
Gold Court, nay. Betancourt, nay. Creighton, nay. Middleton, nay. Alvarado, nay. Eckhart, nay. King, nay. Sparks, nay. Flores, nay. Blanco, nay. La Mantilla, nay. Parker, nay. Hughes, nay. Miles, yay. Gutierrez, yay. Johnson, nay. Springer, nay. Schwartner, nay. Campbell, nay. Nichols, nay. West, nay. Whitmire, nay. Huffman, nay. Hinojosa, nay. Zaffarini, nay. Two yays, 28 nays. May confirm the votes, Senator Alvarado? Nay. Senator Betancourt? Nay. Senator Birdwell? Nay. Senator Blanco? Nay. Senator Campbell? Nay. Senator Creighton? Nay. Senator Eckhart? Nay. Senator Flores? Nay. Senator Gutierrez? Nay. Senator Hall? Nay. Senator Hancock? Nay. Senator Hinojosa? Nay. Senator Huffman? Nay. Senator Hughes? Nay. Senator Johnson? Nay. Senator King? Nay. Senator Colcourse? Nay. Senator Lamantia? Senator Menendez? Senator Middleton, Senator Miles, nay. Senator Nichols, nay. Senator Miles, did you say nay? Nay. nay. Okay. You said yay. Okay, I just want to confirm that. Okay, it is yay. Okay. Uh, Senator Nichols, Senator Nichols, nay. Did you say? Okay, sorry, couldn't hear you. Senator Parker. Hey. Senator Perry? Hey. Senator Schwartner? Hey. Senator Sparks? Hey. Senator Springer? Senator Springer? Senator West? Hey. Senator Whitmire? Nay. Senator Zaffarini? Hey. 28 nays, 2 yeas. A finding of acquittal is entered for Article 4. Members, you will now vote on Article 5, disregard of official duty engagement of Kamek. While holding office as Attorney General, Warren Kenneth Paxton misused his official powers by violating the laws governing the appointment of prosecuting attorneys pro tem. Specifically, Paxton engaged Brandon Kamek, a licensed attorney, to conduct an investigation into a baseless complaint during which Kamek issued more than 30 grand jury subpoenas in an effort to benefit Nate Paul or Paul's business entities. Shall this article of impeachment be sustained? A yea vote is to convict, a nay vote is to acquit. Please mark your ballots. All right, so Article 4, uh, the pattern is broken. <laughs> Thanks, two two fail, yeas, fail 28 fail. nays. Pick up. Your assessment on that. Brandon. It's interesting. Yeah, we did see a bit of a deviation there. It seems like that the managers didn't do as good a job convincing the jury that this was the case. Now, this is a pretty cut and dry article. Either he did provide the information or he didn't. It seems like they're arguing here that he didn't. We did have two, only two, Democrats to vote yay on that one, which is interesting. But we had some Democrats vote nay. And so we're going to see potentially some 
primary competition because of this, because effectively they're voting to empower Ken Paxton. So Democrats voted to empower him, mm -hmm. absolutely. Indeed. And that's a surprise. Surprising, yeah. I suspected we would have seen basically a party line vote, but we're seeing some deviation. Real quickly before we start counting the next uh, vote for Article 5, uh, where is he most liable or possible that he could be see a conviction? Where is the most serious uh, Right the ballots are in. I think the next the one is going to be one of the most vulnerable. The, this one, we're about to watch. the one we're about to watch, number okay. number five. That's Article Five. Number five and number six. Those two. Campbell, nay. Nichols, nay. West, yay. Whitmire, yay. Huffman, nay. Hinojosa, yay. Zaffarini, yay. La Mantilla, yay. Parker, nay. Hughes, nay. Miles, yay. Gutierrez, yay. Johnson, yay. Springer, nay. Schwartner, nay. Hancock, Yay. Menendez, yay. Birdwell, nay. Hall, nay. Perry, nay. Colcourst, nay. Betancourt, nay. Creighton, nay. Middleton, nay. Alvarado, yay. Eckhart, yay. King, nay. Sparks, nay. Flores, nay. Blanco, yay. Thirteen yeas, seventeen nays. I'll confirm the votes. Senator Alvarado? Nay. Senator Betancourt? Nay. Senator Birdwell? Nay. Senator Blanco? Nay. Senator Campbell? Nay. Senator Creighton? Nay. Senator Eckhart? Nay. Senator Flores? Nay. Senator Gutierrez? Nay. Senator Hall? Nay. Senator Hancock? Nay. Senator Hinojosa? Nay. Senator Hoffman? Nay. Senator Huff Hughes? Nay. Senator Johnson? Nay. Senator King? Nay. Senator, Nay. Senator King? Hey. Senator Colcourse? Hey. Senator Lamantia? Hey. Senator Menendez? Hey. Senator Middleton? Hey. Senator Miles? Hey. Senator Nichols? Hey. Senator Parker? Hey. Senator Perry? Hey. Senator Spurt Swartner? Hey. Senator Sparks? Hey. Senator Springer? Hey. Senator West? Hey. Senator Whitmire? Hey. Senator Zaffrini? 13 yeas, 17 nays. A finding of acquittal is entered for Article 5. So Article 5 now, another acquittal for Ken Paxton. Well, we should note Ken Paxton is not by his legal team. Members, you will now be voting on Article 6, the disregard building, but he's of not official duty termination of whistleblowers um, while holding office as a happy man wherever he's watching. <laughs> he's got to be pretty pleased so far, that's for sure. By terminating right, and taking adverse six. personal action against employees of his office in violation of this state's whistleblower law, Chapter 554 of the Government Code. Specifically... 
Paxton terminated employees of his office who made good faith reports in his unlawful actions to law enforcement authorities. Paxton terminated the employees without good cause or due process and in retaliation for reporting his illegal acts and improper conduct. Furthermore, Paxton engaged in a public and private campaign to impugn the employees' professional reputations or prejudice their future employment. Shall this article of impeachment be sustained? A yea vote is to convict, a nay vote is to acquit. Please mark your ballots. Going in on Article 6, they're voting on that one, and you, you just you told me this is the one where the exposure is high, highest for him. That's right. In fact, we know that at least to some significant degree that the state was very close to paying the whistleblowers. That's what triggered, in fact, this impeachment. So the fact that they were terminated and the payment was almost ready to go is a certain indication that they believe that this was something that the Attorney General and their office had done. So if he is going to be convicted on one of these 16, this would likely be the easiest one perhaps for Republicans to sort of go ahead and vote against it. Yes, they've already almost admitted guilt on this, and so this is the most logical. Now, of course, because it's tied to him removing, being removed from office, it's a little bit different. It's not just about paying money now, it's about him losing his job. So does it rise to the level that he should be removed from his position? That's what Republicans have to choose. Yeah, and we see the bailiff wrapping up collecting Austin those Matt, votes. Uh, all the ballots. The clerk will start reading them, and we'll see what happens. Secretary will read them at random. Article 6 here. The clerk will read them at random. Campbell, nay. Schwartner, nay. Springer, nay. Johnson, yay. Gutierrez, yay. Miles, yay. Hughes, nay. Parker, nay. La Mantilla, yay. Blanco, yay. Zaffarini, yay. Hinojosa, yay. Huffman, nay. Whitmire, yay. West, yay. Nichols, Yay. Hancock, yay. Menendez, yay. Birdwell, nay. Hall, nay. Perry, nay. Cold course, nay. Betancourt, nay. Creighton, nay. Middleton, nay. Alvarado, yay. Eckhart, yay. King, nay. Sparks, nay. Flores, nay. Fourteen yeas, sixteen nays. We'll confirm the vote. Senator Alvarado? Yay. Senator Betancourt? Nay. Senator Burtonwell? Nay. Senator Blanco? Nay. Senator Campbell? Nay. Senator Creighton? Nay. Senator Eckhart? Yay. Senator Flores? Nay. Senator Gutierrez? Yay. Senator Hall? Nay. Senator Hancock? Nay. Senator Hinojosa? Nay. Senator Hoffman? Nay. Senator Hughes? Nay. Senator Johnson? Nay. Senator King? Nay. Senator Colcourse? Nay. Senator Lamantia? Senator Menendez? Nay. Senator Middleton? Senator Miles? Nay. Senator Nichols? Nay. Senator Parker? Nay. Senator Perry? Senator Schwartner? Nay. Senator Sparks? Nay. 
Aye. Senator Springer? Aye. Senator West? Aye. Senator Whitmire? Aye. Senator Zaffarini? There being 14 yeas and 16 nays, the finding of acquittal is entered for Article 6. Members, we now move on to, for you to vote on Article 7, misapplication of public resources, whistleblower investigation and report, while holding office as Attorney General Warren Kenneth Paxton misused public resources entrusted to him. Specifically, Paxton directed employees of his office to conduct a sham investigation into whistleblower complaints made by employees whom Paxton had terminated and to create and publish a lengthy written report containing false and misleading statements in Paxton's defense. Shall this article of impeachment be sustained? A yea vote is to convict, a nay vote is to acquit. Please mark your ballots. Uh, we saw another vote on Article 6. This was the one where we thought maybe he might have more exposure here, but another victory for uh, Ken Paxton here. Yeah, this was the one where we assumed that because there was uh, evidence of this and that the state was going to pay the whistleblowers that we were going to see some vulnerability. It didn't end up that way. It seems like that the Republicans weren't necessarily convinced that this was something that he had done improperly. And that's really part of it, right? The actual language of the article says that he had done this illegally. So that might be the sticking point here. They continue to only be able to sway two, Democrat, uh, two Republicans over Max, and they need much more than that, right? Yeah, they need nine, and they're only getting two. So the likelihood of conviction uh, is lower because they just don't seem to be persuading these Republicans. We should mention Ken Paxton again is not in the chamber, uh, but the whistleblowers, many of them who testified in this trial, uh, the ones that are discussed in Article 6 are in the chamber. I see the all gallery, the ballots collected. Listening to Secretary this. They, will they can't be read happy with what just, what just happened. They can't know. And the next one here that they're going to read is uh, the article about uh, the sham investigation that they did to justify the action. So we'll see how that plays. Let's listen in. Senator Springer, nay. Senator Schwertner, nay. Senator Campbell, nay. Senator Nichols, yay. Senator West, yay. Senator Whitmire, yay. Senator Huffman, nay. Senator Hinojosa, yay. Senator Zaffarini, yay. Senator Blanco, yay. Senator La Montilla, yay. Senator Parker, nay. Senator Hughes, nay. Senator Miles, yay. Senator Gutierrez, yay. Senator Johnson, yay. Senator Menendez, yay. Senator Birdwell, nay. Senator Hall, nay. Senator Perry, nay. Senator Colcourse, nay. Senator Betancourt, nay. Senator Creighton, nay. Senator Middleton, nay. Senator Alvarado, yay. Senator Eckhart, yay. Senator King, nay. Senator Sparks, nay. Senator Flores, nay. Senator Hancock, yay. Fourteen yays, sixteen nays. I'll poll the jury to be sure to confirm the vote. Senator Alvarado? Aye. Senator Betancourt? 
Yay. Senator Birdwell. Yay. Senator Blanco. Yay. Senator Campbell. Yay. Senator Creighton. Yay. Senator Eckhart. Yay. Senator Flores. Yay. Senator Gutierrez. Yay. Senator Hall. Yay. Senator Hancock. Senator Hinojosa. Yay. Senator Huffman. Yay. Senator Hughes. Yay. Senator Johnson. Yay. Senator King. Yay. Senator Colcourse. Yay. Senator Lamantia. Yay. Senator Menendez. Yay. Senator Middleton. Yay. Senator Miles. Yay. Senator Nichols. Yay. Senator Parker. Hey. Senator Perry, hey. Senator Swartner, hey. Senator Sparks, hey. Senator Springer, hey. Senator West, hey. Senator Whitmire, hey. Senator Zaffarini. Hey. 14 ayes, 16 nays. Uh, a finding of acquittal is entered as to Article 7. Members, you will now vote on Article 8, Disregard of Official Duty Settlement Agreement. While holding office as Attorney General, Warren Kenneth Paxton misused his official powers by concealing his wrongful acts in connection with whistleblower complaints made by employees whom Paxton had terminated. Specifically, Paxton entered into a settlement agreement with the whistleblowers that provides for payment of the settlement from public funds. The settlement agreement stayed the wrongful termination suit and conspicuously delayed the discovery of facts and testimony at trial to Paxton's advantage, which deprived the electorate of its opportunity to make an informed decision when voting for attorney general. Shall this article of impeachment be sustained? A yea vote is to convict, a nay vote is to acquit. Please mark your ballots. So again, Brandon, uh, Article 7, the pattern continues here, 14 <laughs> yeas, 16 nays. Um, you may pick up the ballots. That's what we're going to keep seeing, I think, as this goes on. It looks like this is going to be the way that it is. Um, these are articles that dictate and describe what the Attorney General did inside the office to cover up some of the things that the manager said that the, he did. It seems like that the House managers didn't make a strong enough case. They didn't have a smoking gun here. And that's really what they needed to have to make a clear and definitive statement. And remember, the standard of evidence here is uh, beyond a reasonable doubt. And it seems like that the senator jurors haven't been convinced at that level. Uh, we've seen the camera pan around several times. We saw a shot of Representative Andrew Murr, the House Board of Managers. He delivered the opening statement and the closing argument, uh, and he didn't, look, he didn't look too happy. Very didn't. somber look from the prosecution side thus far. Yeah, it is tough to read because obviously this is a very solemn occasion, but I don't imagine that they're that happy right now. They put sort of best in evidence out there, and it seems like it Coco just read them at random. All right, Article 8, uh, votes have been cast, and we're about to hear from the clerk. Let's listen in. Senator Gut Gutierrez, yay. Senator, Senator Johnson, nay. Senator Springer, nay. Senator Schwartner, nay. Senator Campbell, nay. Senator Nichols, yay. Senator West, yay. Senator Whitmer, yay. Senator Huffman, nay. Senator Hinojosa, yay. Senator Zaffarini, nay. Senator Blanco, yay. Senator Lamantia, nay. Senator Parker, nay. Senator Hughes, nay. Senator Miles, nay. Senator Eckhart, nay. Senator Hancock, nay. Senator Menendez, yay. Senator Birdwell, nay. Senator Hall, nay. Senator Perry, nay. Senator Colcourse, nay. Senator Betancourt, nay. Senator Creighton, nay. Senator Middleton, nay. 
Senator Alvarado, yay. Senator King, nay. Senator Sparks, nay. Senator Flores, nay. Eight yeas, 22 nays. Confirming the votes, Senator Alvarado? Yay. Senator Bencourt? Nay. Senator Birdwell? Senator Blanco? Senator Campbell? Nay. Senator Creighton? Nay. Senator Eckhart? Nay. Senator Flores? Nay. Senator Gutierrez? Nay. Senator Hall? Nay. Senator Hancock? Nay. Senator Hinojosa? Nay. Senator Hoffman? Senator Hughes? Aye. Senator Johnson? Senator King? Aye. Senator Colcourse? S Senator Lamantia? Aye. Senator Menendez? Aye. Senator Middleton? Senator Miles? Aye. We have you marked as a nay on here. Did you say yay or nay? I'm sorry, number nine. You're a nay, okay, okay. Senator Nichols? Okay. Senator Parker? Aye. Senator Perry? Senator Perry? Aye. Senator Swartner? Senator Sparks, Aye. Senator Springer, Aye. Senator West, Aye. Senator Whitmire, Aye. Senator Zaff Zaffarini. There being eight yeas and 22 nays, a finding of acquittal is entered for Article 8. Is my mic up? We're now 50% through, eight of the 16. Members, you will now vote on Article and, 9, um, constitutional bribery. Another different vote Paul's count, but same result, an acquittal. Same result, well, yeah, we're actually seeing General some Democrats shift their votes here. And so it's, again, 16, Texas a very likely scenario where that's going to come back to haunt them. From Nate Paul's employment of a woman with whom Paxton was having an extramarital affair. Paul received favorable legal assistance from or specialized access to the office of the Attorney General. Shall this article of impeachment be sustained? A yay vote is to convict, a nay vote is to acquit. Please mark your voting form. Walk through Article 9, constitutional bribery. What does it entail? And again, I believe you there can could be some exposure. Collect. I think that there is, um, there's a lot of smoke here, maybe not much more fire than a match, but there's a little bit. This is the article that dictates the bribery as a result and from the woman who is the presumed mistress. And the theory here is that Nate Paul effectively is paying this woman to be in Austin. And that was the payoff for Ken Paxton to work on behalf of Nate Paul. There is, as I said, a lot of smoke here. It's not clear how much evidence there is. There's no clear smoking gun, but there's definitely a lot of evidence. So that's gonna be really where they have to consider. And we see Angela Paxton there. She's been taking notes, uh, jotting things down as she has throughout these two weeks. Of course, so you mentioned this is tied to the extramarital affair. Uh, we weren't able to hear from Laura Olson. There was a bit of suspense and drama a few days ago as that unfolded. Secretary. So. Um, so the votes clerk. have been cast. Well, the court and will read it random. the clerk read those votes and see what happens with Article 9. Menendez, yay. Birdwell, nay. Paul, nay. Perry, nay. Cold course, nay. Betancourt, nay. Creighton, nay. Middleton, nay. Alvarado, yay. Eckhart, yay. King, nay. Sparks, nay. Flores, nay. Hancock, nay. Blanco, yay. 
Lamantia, yay. Parker, nay. Hughes, nay. Miles, yay. Gutierrez, yay. Johnson, yay. Springer, nay. Schwartner, nay. Campbell, nay. Nichols, nay. West, yay. Whitmire, yay. Huffman, nay. Hinojosa, yay. Saverini, yay. Twelve yeas, eighteen nays. Confirming the vote, Senator Alvarado. Senator Betancourt, Aye. Senator Birdwell, Aye. Senator Blanco, Aye. Senator Campbell, Aye. Senator Creighton, Aye. Senator Eckhart, Aye. Senator Flores, Aye. Senator Gutierrez, Aye. Senator Hall, Aye. Senator Hancock, Aye. Senator Hinojosa, Aye. Senator Huffman, Aye. Senator Hughes, Aye. Senator Johnson, Aye. Senator King, Aye. Senator Colcourse, Aye. Senator Lamantia, Aye. Senator Menendez, Aye. Senator Middleton, Aye. Senator Miles, Aye. Senator Nichols, Senator Parker, Aye. Senator Perry, Aye. Senator Schwartner, Aye. Senator Sparks, Aye. Senator Springer, Aye. Senator West, Aye. Senator Whitmire, Aye. Senator Zaffrini. There being 12 yeas and 18 nays, a finding of acquittal is entered for Article 9. Constitutional bribery, Paul's providing renovations to the Paxton home. While holding office as Attorney General, Warren Kenneth Paxton engaged in bribery in violation of Section 41, Article 16, Texas Constitution. Specifically, Paxton benefited from Nate Paul providing renovations to Paxton's home. Paul received favorable legal assistance from or specialized access to the office of the Attorney General. Shall this article of impeachment be sustained? A yea vote is to convict, a nay vote is to acquit. Please mark your ballots. Again, we saw in Article 9 another acquittal, but as you mentioned and noted, the first time straight party vote, 12 to 18. It's surprising, actually. Maybe we would have expected to see this more, but this is the first time we've seen a straight party line vote. This was the most visible of the articles. This is Laura Olson. This was the sort of controversy about her testifying. I think the fact that she didn't testify probably hurt the House manager's case because they couldn't get into the nitty gritty details about exactly how this worked. Now, Article 10, also high profile, that involves the home renovations. We heard a lot from both sides. You know, I recall Busby saying, the Paxton's shop at Home Depot, they go to Lowe's, they did this all themselves. Um, and Drew Wicker obviously saying he heard um, the, the workers mm -hmm. at the place, they have to check with, have to check with Nate, check with referring Nate. to Nate Paul. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes down. Again, this is a constitutional bribery article? It is, yes, and there are two parts. One is that there was bribery, and number two, it's that Nate Paul got something from the office. So two parts of this are hard to prove. And before we listen in on the council, I want collected. to mention to our viewers will that read them at uh, random. 11 through 14, those articles, those are in abeyance, so we won't be uh, considering those. Let's listen in to Article 10. Senator Springer, nay. Senator Schwartner, nay. Senator Campbell, nay. Senator Nichols, yay. Senator West, yay. Senator Whitmire, yay. Senator Huffman, nay. Senator Hinojosa, yay. A 
Matt, can you come forward, please? This ballot was not marked, Senator Zaffarini, so we're going to return it to you. This is Article 10. Since you have recorded 72,000 consecutive ballots and votes since the mid-80s as a senator, I didn't want you to miss one. <laughs> Looking out for you. Senator Zaffarini, yay. Senator Blanco, yay. Senator LaMontilla, yay. Senator Parker, nay. Senator Hughes, nay. Senator Miles, yay. Senator Gutierrez, yay. Senator Johnson, yay. Senator Coldcourse, nay. Senator Betancourt, nay. Senator Creighton, nay. Senator Middleton, nay. Senator Alvarado, yay. Senator Eckhart, yay. Senator King, nay. Senator Sparks, nay. Senator Flores, nay. Senator Hancock, yay. Senator Menendez, yay. Senator Birdwell, nay. Senator Hall, nay. Senator Perry, nay. Fourteen yeas, sixteen nays. I'll confirm the vote. Senator Alvarado? Nay. Senator Betancourt? Nay. Senator Birdwell? Nay. Senator Blanco? Nay. Senator Campbell? Nay. Senator Creighton? Nay. Senator Eckhart? Nay. Senator Flores? Nay. Senator Gutierrez? Nay. Senator Hall? Nay. Senator Hancock? Nay. Senator Hinojosa? Nay. Senator Hoffman? Nay. Senator Hughes? Nay. Senator Johnson? Nay. Senator King? Nay. Senator Colcourse? Nay. Senator Lamantia? Nay. Senator Menendez? Nay. Senator Middleton? Nay. Senator Miles? Nay. Senator Nichols? Hey. Senator Parker, hey. Senator Perry, hey. Senator Swartner, hey. Senator Sparks, hey. Senator Springer, hey. Senator West, hey. Senator Whitmire, hey. Senator Zaffarini. Hey. There being 14 yeas, 16 nays, a finding of acquittal is entered as to Article 10. And if you've joined us in mid-session online, it takes 21 votes to convict. And the Attorney General is removed from office if he's convicted on just one of the 16 articles. We are now to Article 11. I'm sorry, it's Article 15 because we skipped a few numbers. So now would be a good time to explain to our viewers why we're skipping a few numbers here. It's funny that <laughs> Lieutenant Governor sort of got confused himself. <laughs> Articles 11 through 14 are not being considered now. They're in abeyance. Explain to our viewers uh, what that means. Yeah, and effectively what happened was that the rule set out that they were going to press pause on these articles because these deal with the criminal charges against the Attorney General. These are active charges that are taking place through a trial here in Harris County. So what the Senate decided to do was to put these on hold until that trial 
trial had some more action, and so we are not going to hear those today. That's why we're skipping these numbers. So it'll be interesting to see what they do uh, if, in fact, he's acquitted on the remaining six articles, right? It That'll will be. That'll be something they'll have to consider. Are they yeah. going to take those up at a separate impeachment trial, perhaps? Exactly. So we could go into overtime on this, depending on how this first part works out. But I think what they're trying to do is to think about the evidence that's coming out in that trial because they don't want there to be too much toe-stepping and so obviously the criminal charges in that are different than this. In this all they can do is remove him from office. In those charges, the securities charges, they can put him in jail. So there's differences there that the Senate wanted to respect. Worth noting that some of those criminal charges are going to be taking place you know, here in Repeat Harris County uh, next month. We'll get into that as, as the afternoon goes on. Uh, collecting the ballots now for Article 15. Really quickly summarize what, what that one entails. In effect, Article 15 is similar to one we've seen before. This is the article that dictates that, that the Attorney General cause some of the internal lawyers working on the report to justify his actions and the whistleblowers and misleading the public and misleading other public officials in writing that report. Alrighty. On, you saw there really briefly on the right side of your screen, that was Representative Andrew Murr, the man with the curled mustache that we've grown accustomed to the last two weeks. Uh, an integral part of presenting this case, and so far they're not getting the result um, they wanted to see. They're not. They went line by line. They had as much evidence as they could muster, and it seems like it just didn't hit with a jury. Alrighty. Angela Paxton, there you see on your screen, continuing to take notes as uh, the ballots are being collected for Article 15, and we're going to hear from the clerk right now. Senator Eckhart, yay. Senator King, nay. Senator Sparks, nay. Senator Flores, nay. Senator Hancock, yay. Senator Menendez, yay. Senator Birdwell, nay. Senator Hall, nay. Senator Perry, nay. Senator Colcourse, nay. Senator Betancourt, nay. Senator Creighton, nay. Senator Middleton, nay. Senator Alvarado, yay. Senator Miles, yay. Senator Gutierrez, yay. Senator Johnson, yay. Senator Springer, nay. Senator Schwartner, nay. Senator Campbell, nay. Senator Nichols, yay. Senator West, yay. Senator Whitmire, yay. Senator Huffman, nay. Senator Hinojosa, yay. Senator Zaffarini, yay. Senator Blanco, yay. Senator Lamantia, yay. Senator Parker, nay. Senator Hughes, nay. Fourteen yeas, sixteen nays. Confirming the vote, Senator Alvarado? Yay. Senator Betancourt? Yay. Senator Birdwell? Senator Blanco? Yay. Senator Campbell? Yay. Senator Creighton? Yay. Senator Eckhart? Yay. Senator Flores? Yay. Senator Gutierrez? Yay. Senator Hall? Yay. Senator Hancock? Yay. Senator Hinojosa? Yay. Senator Huffman? Yay. Senator Hughes? Yay. Senator Johnson? Yay. Senator King? 
Aye. Senator Colcourse? Aye. Senator Lamantia? Aye. Senator Menendez? Aye. Senator Middleton? Aye. Senator Miles? Aye. Senator Nichols? Aye. Senator Parker? Aye. Senator Perry? Aye. Senator Schwertner? Aye. Senator Sparks? Aye. Senator Springer? Aye. Senator West? Aye. Senator Whitmire? Aye. Senator Zaffarini? There being 14 A's, yeas and 16 nays, the finding of acquittal is entered for Article 15. Members, you will now vote on Article 16, conspiracy and attempted conspiracy, while holding office as Attorney General, Warren Kenneth Paxton, acted with others to conspire or attempt to conspire to commit acts described in one or more articles. Shall this article of impeachment be sustained? A yea vote is to convict, a nay vote is to acquit. Please mark your ballots. All right, so Article 15 uh, of vote count, we're getting very used to by now. 14 <laughs> yeas, 16 nays, no surprise there. Uh, article 16 now, we move on to the conspiracy articles and explain what it entails in terms of, it's a, sort of an umbrella. Uh, yeah, article. this is kind of a catch-all. So effectively what this is, um, is a the consideration that the Attorney General had conspired to commit these crimes while in office and the other articles that are dictated. So this is basically a catch-all for the crimes that he committed, he covered up, and that's the article's genesis. They have testimony from Andrew Wicker, who was the body man, who testified that, that the Attorney General's office asked him not to talk to the FBI when the whistleblowers went to the FBI. So there is some evidence here, but it's unclear if it's enough to be able to move the needle. So we have to wait for the vote count, obviously, but we were discussing well, earlier. Logic would tell us if they didn't go for those earlier articles, they're likely not going to go for this one. It seems unlikely in this case, yeah. If you didn't think there was specific evidence, you probably don't think there's general evidence. Let's listen into the vote count on Article 16. Cold course, nay. Betancourt, nay. Creighton, nay. Middleton, nay. Alvarado, yay. Eckhart, yay. King, nay. Sparks, nay. Flores, nay. Hancock, Yay. Menendez, yay. Birdwell, nay. Hall, nay. Perry, nay. Wartner, nay. Campbell, nay. Nichols, yay. West, yay. Whitmire, yay. Huffman, nay. Hinojosa, yay. Zaffarini, yay. Blanco, yay. La Montilla, yay. Parker, nay. Hughes, nay. Miles, yay. Gutierrez, yay. Johnson, yay. Springer, nay. Fourteen yeas, sixteen nays. 
Confirm the vote, Senator Alvarado. Senator Bencourt. Hey. Senator Birdwell. Hey. Senator Blanco. Senator Campbell. Hey. Senator Creighton. Hey. Senator Eckhart. Hey. Senator Flores. Hey. Senator Gutierrez. Hey. Senator Hall. Hey. Senator Hancock. Senator Hinojosa. Hey. Senator Huffman. Hey. Senator Hughes. Hey. Senator Johnson. Hey. Senator King. Hey. Senator Colcourse. Hey. Sen Senator La hey. Senator Menendez. Hey. Senator Middleton. Hey. Senator Hughes. I'm sorry. Senator Miles. Hey. Senator Nichols. Hey. Senator Parker. Hey. Senator Perry, hey. Senator Schwertner, hey. Senator Sparks, hey. Senator Springer, hey. Senator West, hey. Senator Whitmire, hey. Senator Zaffarini. 14 yay, 16 nays. A finding of acquittal is entered for Article 16. We have four articles remaining. Members, you are now voting on Article 17, misappropriation of public resources while holding office as Attorney General. Warren Kenneth Paxton misused his official powers by causing employees of his office to perform services for his benefit and the benefit of others. Shall this article of impeachment be sustained? A yay vote is to convict, a nay vote is to acquit. Please mark your ballots. All right, so the senators uh, did not go for Article 16 as we sort of expected, mm -hmm. as it was a sort of an all-encompassing uh, article. No surprises there. We now move on to 17 uh, misappropriating resources. In a nutshell, what are they considering here? Effectively, what this article says is that the Attorney General directed some of the staff to engage in actions we which were ultimately illegal, and those are dictated more directly in Articles 3 and 5. So this is in some ways a kind of summary, and it's more direct to the point that this is something that violates Texas law. Now, would you say, compared to the articles we've already been through, there's a lot less evidence perhaps for these types of articles than the previous ones? Yes, and if they hadn't seen the evidence in the others and assumed that that was enough to convict at that criminal standard, then I don't think you're going to see it applied in this one in a way that would lead the senators to vote against. So with 17, 18, 19, 20 left, we have four to go. Mm. If you're sitting on the Paxton uh, team or you're Ken Paxton, wherever you're watching this, you're feeling pretty optimistic and good about where this is going to end up? Feeling pretty good, but the last one we'll end on is going to be a blockbuster. This one says basically all that he brought scandal yeah. and disrepute to the office, so it's a catch-all. But and that's Article 20? Article 20. Okay, let's listen to Article 17. Alvarado, yay. Senator Eckhart, yay. Senator King, nay. Senator Sparks, nay. Senator Flores, nay. Senator Hancock, yay. Senator Menendez, yay. Senator Birdwell, nay. Senator Hall, nay. Senator Perry, nay. Senator Coldcourse, nay. Senator Betancourt, nay. Senator Creighton, nay. Senator Middleton, nay. Senator Schwartner, nay. Senator Campbell, nay. Senator Nichols, yay. Senator West, yay. Senator Whitmire, yay. Senator Huffman, nay. Senator Hinojosa, yay. Senator Zaffarini, yay. Senator Blanco, yay. Senator Lamantia, yay. Senator Parker, nay. Senator Hughes, nay. Senator Miles, yay. Senator Gutierrez, yay. Senator Johnson, yay. Senator Springer, Nay.
14 yeas, 16 nays. Confirming the vote, Senator Alvarado. Yay. Senator Betancourt. Nay. Senator Birdwell. Nay. Senator Blanco. Nay. Senator Campbell. Nay. Senator Creighton. Nay. Senator Eckhart. Senator, Senator Flores. Nay. Senator Gutierrez. Nay. Senator Hall. Nay. Senator Hancock. Senator Hinojosa. Nay. Senator Huffman. Senator Hughes. Nay. Senator Johnson. Senator King. Nay. Senator Colcourse. Nay. Senator Lamantia. Nay. Senator Menendez. Senator Middleton, Yay. Senator Miles, Yay. Senator Nichols, Yay. Senator Parker, Yay. Senator Perry, Yay. Senator Swartner, Yay. Senator Sparks, Yay. Senator Springer, Yay. Senator Whitmire, Yay. Senator West, Yay. and Senator Zaffarini. 14 yeas, 16 nays. A finding of acquittal is entered to Article 17. Members, you will now vote on Article 18, dereliction of duty. While holding office as Attorney General, Warren Kenneth Paxton violated the Texas Constitution, his oaths of office, statutes, and public policy against public officials acting contrary to the public interest by engaging in acts described in one or more articles. Shall this article of impeachment be sustained? A yay vote is to convict, a nay vote is to acquit. Please mark your voting form. All right, another uh, 14 yay, 16 nay. The pattern clearly continuing here, uh, Brandon. I think at the moment, as we wait for the vote count on I Article 18, it's worth battle. talking about just the scope of, of what we're seeing here. Mm -hmm. I mean, article after article, he, Ken Paxton really hanging on uh, barely early on as we were going into this on his political future. It hung in the balance, and it seems, at least so far, there's three left that he's gonna, can, he's gonna continue to have a political career here in Texas. <laughs> he's gonna survive. It's funny because we did see that there was a pattern on the votes to kick out these mo it, it, or these articles early where you had more Republicans crossing, but you don't have them crossing now. So you have to, I think, consider two things. Number one, either the House didn't prove it, or number two, the defense did a good job at batting down some of these allegations. Or what role uh, does political pressure play into this at the end of the day as well? <laughs> Republicans sort of coming home. Absolutely, and we know that it's such a hard thing to get someone to vote against their party nowadays. Partisanship is Although so rigid that it's unex unexpected to see these Brando. changes. So that we even see two here is pretty stunning. All right, let's listen in to the vote count on Article 18. Senator Blanco, yay. Senator Lamontia, yay. Senator Parker, nay. Senator Hughes, nay. Senator Miles, yay. Senator Gutierrez, yay. Senator Johnson, yay. Senator Springer, nay. Senator Schwartner, nay. Senator Campbell, nay. Senator Nichols, yay. Senator West, yay. Senator Whitmire, yay. Senator Huffman, nay. Senator Hinojosa, yay. Senator Zaffarini, yay. Senator Menendez, yay. Senator Birdwell, nay. Senator Hall, nay. Senator Perry, nay. Senator Colcourse, nay. Senator Betancourt, nay. Senator Creighton, nay. Senator Middleton, nay. Senator Alvarado, yay. 
Senator King, nay. Senator Sparks, nay. Senator Flores, nay. Senator Hancock, yay. We're going to recheck them. Fourteen yeas, sixteen nays. Confirming the vote, Senator Alvarado, Nay. Senator Betancourt, Nay. Senator Birdwell, Senator Blanco, Nay. Senator Campbell, Nay. Senator Creighton, Nay. Senator Eckhart, Nay. Senator Flores, Nay. Senator Gutierrez, Nay. Senator Hall, Nay. Senator Hancock, Nay. Senator Hanahosa, Senator Hoffman, Nay. Senator Hughes, Nay. Senator Johnson, Sen Nay. Senator King. Nay. Senator Colcourse, Senator Lamantia, Nay. Senator Menendez, Nay. Senator Senator Middleton, Senator Miles, Senator Nichols, Nay. Senator Parker, Nay. Senator Perry, Nay. Senator Schwartner, Nay. Senator Sparks, Nay. Senator Springer, Senator West, Nay. Senator Whitmire, Senator Zaffarini. There being 14 yeas and 16 nays, a finding of acquittal is entered as to Article 18. Members, you will now vote on Article 19, unfitness for office. While holding office as Attorney General, Warren Kenneth Paxton engaged in misconduct, private or public, of such character as to indicate his unfitness for office, as shown by the acts described in one or more articles. Shall this article of impeachment be sustained? A yea vote is to convict, a nay vote is to acquit. Please mark, please mark your ballots. All right, we are now in the home stretch, two to go, and then there were two. <laughs> and so we just saw Article 18, same vote, 14 yeas, 16 nays, uh, but it's coming down to the wire here for the House managers. If they want to get Ken Paxton on, on any of these, they have two, two chances remaining. That's right. You saw Rusty Harden there. You see Tony Busby on your screen. This is definitely hard for them, especially the manager side, because they did so much to try to prove these allegations, and they just couldn't get it. This allegation, number 19, is about the affair, and it's obviously very political because it's a question of morality. And so will the Republicans switch over to say that they think that this is bad enough that it should be a, re a removable offense? Uh, we'll see. If you're a Republican in the state house or uh, you know a Republican that may have voted one of the two that, that voted with Democrats on mm. many of these articles, you must be feeling a little bit uneasy, would you think, I, in terms of you know Paxton staying in power? I should think so. They're all running scared at this point. Uh, they've got to be able to justify these actions, and they're going to have to withstand the onslaught of mailers and tweets well, and digital that are going to come after them. All right. The Let's listen in uh, to Article 19 as the clerk counts the votes. Lamantia, yay. Parker, nay. Hughes, nay. Miles, yay. Gutierrez, yay. Johnson, yay. Springer, nay. Schwartner, Nay.
Campbell, nay. Nichols, yay. West, yay. Whitmire, yay. Huffman, nay. Hinojosa, yay. Safarini, yay. Hancock, yay. Menendez, yay. Birdwell, nay. Hall, nay. Perry, nay. Colcourse, nay. Betancourt, nay. Creighton, nay. Middleton, nay. Alvarado, yay. Eckhart, yay. King, nay. Sparks, nay. Flores, nay. Blanco, yay. Fourteen yays, sixteen nays. Confirming the vote. Senator Alvarado? Yay. Senator Betancourt? Yay. Senator Birdwell? Yay. Senator Blanco? Senator Campbell? Yay. Senator Creighton? Yay. Senator Eckhart? Yay. Senator Flores? Yay. Senator Gutierrez? Aye. Senator Aye. Hall? Yay. I got it. Senator Hancock? Senator Hinojosa? Yay. Senator Huffman? Aye. Senator Hughes? Aye. Senator Johnson? Senator King? Aye. Senator Colcourse? Aye. Senator Lamantia? Aye. Senator Menendez? Aye. Senator Men Senator Middleton? Aye. Senator Miles? Aye. Senator Nichols? Aye. Senator Parker? Aye. Senator Perry? Aye. Senator Schwertner? Aye. Senator Sparks? Aye. Senator Springer? Aye. Senator Whitmire? Senator West? Aye. Senator Zaffarini? 14 yeas, 16 nays. They find him acquittal is entered for Article 19. Members, this is the last article for you to vote on, Article 20, Abuse of Public Trust. While holding office as Attorney General Warren Kenneth Paxton used, misused, or failed to use his official powers in a manner calculated to subvert the lawful operation of the government of the state of Texas and to obstruct the fair and impartial administration of justice, thereby bringing the office of Attorney General into scandal and disrepute to the prejudice of public confidence in the government of the state as shown by the acts described in one or more articles. Shall this article of impeachment be sustained? A yay vote is to convict, a nay vote is to acquit. Please mark your ballots. So Brandon, we've been listening now to article after article for now more than an hour, uh, almost an hour and a half. Mm. And uh, we're down to the last one, Article 20, uh, Abuse of Public Trust. Uh, what's going on with this one? 
This is the most broad. This one essentially asserts that the Attorney General abused the public trust. And it's very similar to 18 and how it's worded, but it has additional details that effectively the Attorney General was not an, an independent or impartial um, arbiter of justice. And that is obviously a complicated set of arrangements to prove because they have to do both that he violated his office and that he brought the office into scandal and that he was impartial um, in a way that was biased towards Nate Paul. Too many moving parts, hard to see this going any other way than 1614, which is what we've seen most of these at. So again, uh, after, after 15 articles that we've listened to, we've seen similar vote counts. They've only gotten two, they needed nine. We've talked about this, you know, the, throughout the, throughout the afternoon. They, they needed uh, a heavy turnout from Republicans in terms of getting those nine votes, and they're just falling way, way too short. Falling too short. Partisanship is very strong. Let's listen in to the last article, Article 20. Mr. Springer, nay. Mr. Schwertner, nay. Senator Campbell, nay. Senator Nichols, yay. Senator West, yay. Senator Whitmire, yay. Senator Huffman, nay. Senator Hinojosa, yay. Senator Zaffarini, yay. Senator Blanco, yay. Senator Lamantia, Yay. Senator Parker, nay. Senator Hughes, nay. Senator Miles, yay. Senator Gutierrez, yay. Senator Johnson, yay. Senator Alvarado, yay. Senator Eckhart, yay. Senator King, nay. Senator Sparks, nay. Senator Flores, nay. Senator Hancock, yay. Senator Menendez, yay. Senator Birdwell, nay. Senator Hall, nay. Senator Perry, nay. Senator Colcourse, Nay. Senator Betancourt, nay. Senator Creighton, nay. Senator Middleton, nay. Fourteen yeas, sixteen nays. Confirming the vote, Senator Alvarado. Yay. Senator Betancourt. Yay. Senator Birdwell. Yay. Senator Blanco. Yay. Senator Campbell. Yay. Senator Creighton. Yay. Senator Eckhart. Yay. Senator Flores. Yay. Senator Gordia Gutierrez. Yay. Senator Hall. Yay. Senator Hancock. Senator, that was a yay, correct? Senator Hancock, that was a yay. Uh, Senator Hinojosa? Yay. Senator Hoffman? Senator Hughes? Senator Johnson? Senator King? Yay. Senator Colcourse? Senator Lamantia? Yay. Senator Menendez? Yay. Senator Middleton? Senator Miles? Yay. Senator Nichols? Yay. Senator Parker? Yay. Senator Perry? Senator Spur Swartner? Excuse me? Senator Sparks? Yay. Senator Springer? Senator West, Yay. Senator Whitmire, Yay. Senator Zaffarini. There being 14 
yeas and 16 nays, a finding of acquittal is entered as to Article 20. Senator Birdwell, I understand you have a motion. Rule 30B, I move for the dismissal of the remaining articles of impeachment, Articles 11, Article 12, Article 13, and Article 14 that were held in abeyance. A dismissal in this context does not constitute an acquittal of any charge contained in the articles of impeachment, but would constitute a final decision by the Senate on the articles of impeachment, and the impeachment would no longer be pending for purposes of Article 15, Section 5 of the Texas Constitution, and the Court of Impeachment would dissolve upon further motion to adjourn sine die, Mr. President. Members, do you still have a blank form on your desk? So you will vote. Yea is to dismiss the remaining articles. Nay is to deny the motion to dismiss. So yea is to dismiss. A nay vote is to deny. Please mark your ballots carefully. A yea vote is to grant the motion. A nay vote is to deny the motion. Bailiff, you may collect the votes. The ballots have been collected. The clerk will read them at random. This is a simple 16 vote on the motion, not 21. <clears throat> Senator Hall, yay. Senator Perry, yay. Senator Colcourse, yay. Senator Betancourt, yay. Senator Creighton, yay. Senator Middleton, yay. Senator Alvarado, nay. Senator Eckhart, nay. Senator King, yay. Senator Sparks, yay. Senator Flores, yay. Senator Hancock, yay. Senator Menendez, nay. Senator Birdwell, yay. Senator Blanco, nay. Senator Lamantia, nay. Senator Parker, yay. Senator Hughes, yay. Senator Miles, nay. Senator Gutierrez, nay. Senator Johnson, nay. Senator Springer, yay. Senator Schwartner, yay. Senator Campbell, yay. Senator Nichols, yay. Senator West, nay. Senator Whitmire, nay. Senator Huffman, 
Yay. Senator Hinojosa, yay. Senator Zaffarini, nay. Nineteen yeas, eleven nays. I'll now confirm these votes to grant the motion by Senator Birdwell. Senator Alvarado? Yay. Senator Bet Betancourt? Yay. Senator Birdwell? Yay. Senator Blanco? Yay. Senator Campbell? Yay. Senator Creighton? Yay. Senator Eckhart? Yay. Senator Flores? Yay. Senator Gutierrez? Yay. Senator Hall? Yay. Senator Hancock, Senator Hinojosa, Yay. Senator Huffman, Yay. Senator Hughes, Senator Johnson, Yay. Senator King, Senator, Col Senator Colcourse, Yay. Senator Lamantia, Yay. Senator Menendez, Senator Middleton, Yay. Senator Miles, Yay. Senator Nichols, Yay. Senator Parker, Yay. Senator Perry, Yay. Senator Swartner, Yay. Senator Sparks, Yay. Senator Springer, Yay. Senator West, Yay. Senator Whitmire, Yay. Senator Zaffarini. There being 19 yeas and 11 nays, the motion is granted. Members, before we adjourn, uh, I'm going to make a couple of remarks to put in the record. Also, I want to remind you under Rule 8 of the rules that you passed, each of you can enter a written statement into the record for the, over the next 72 hours. So it would have to be in the next 72 hours. I remind you this is an historic event. And as we look back uh, at the last impeachments here, there was much to learn. And you have that opportunity to leave your thoughts and your remarks, as I will here in a moment, um, for others to look at in case there's uh, another impeach impeachment at some time in the future of Texas. However, before I make my remarks, I want to excuse um, my legal counsel, Judge Lana Myers, who's been just an extraordinary, extraordinary person to work with and has become a great friend. And she's just been terrific before a judge on the Fifth Circuit, on the Fifth Court of Appeals, rather, the criminal court judge and a longtime prosecutor from Dallas. And I could not have done this without you. Members, I have just a few minutes of comments, about five minutes. I've been unusually quiet for the last three months since the House of Representatives sent the articles of impeachment against the Attorney General to us on very short notice in the final hours of the regular legislative session. The law requires the Senate to receive the articles and have a trial, and once I realized I would be the presiding officer and judge, I thought it was my duty to be quiet on this issue. Otherwise, how could I oversee a fair trial? I've done my very best to do so the last three months, and especially the last two weeks. Now the trial is over, I want to take a few minutes before we close to put a few remarks in the court record for future legislatures to read in the event of another impeachment one day on both what the House and Senate did. Senators, first I want to once again thank you for doing your work you all were thorough. You were thoughtful. You were professional. I watched all of you each day listen intently to every word that was said by every witness. Many of you took notes nonstop. I want to thank the Rules Committee. Senator Birdwell, the chair, I want to thank the Rules Committee for their tireless work. Senator Huffman, Senator West, Senator Hinojosa, Senator Creighton, Senator King, Senator Flores. You worked many hours for the last three months. 
You wrote 31 rules that were approved by the Senate, 25 to 3. And those senators, when you brought them to them, they made adjustments and suggestions to those rules, as you know. It was a collaborative effort from all members. All of us studied past impeachments from all across the country to learn from the mistakes of past impeachments so we wouldn't make the same errors. Now, the 31 rules weren't perfect, but you can be proud of the rules you passed. They were our guide for these last 90 days or so and through this process. I want to mention one rule that really stands out to me for future legislatures, I believe, to follow. And that was putting a reasonable time clock on both parties to present their case. Otherwise, this trial could have lasted, as some others have, for months, or at least four or five weeks. Both sides were in agreement immediately on the time clock and how it should be allocated. And I appreciate both parties for your cooperation, not only on that, and much of that was actually part of your suggestion as well, but on every rule. I said to both parties when we met here a week before the trial to do a walkthrough that we wanted to have a fair trial and protect the integrity of the body, the integrity of this great chamber, and each of you fulfilled that. I was proud of both of you, how you conducted yourselves on the court. I feel it's important to set the full record straight on this trial because I want people in the future to have a full picture of what happened and how did we get here. I've spent most of the last 90 days, as many of you have, preparing for this trial. I've issued over 240 subpoenas. I've studied numerous motions, written multiple orders, read hundreds of pages of history, rules, documents, and worked on every detail of this trial with you and with our incredible Secretary of the Senate, the Clerk of the Court, who turned this chamber into a courtroom, and her great staff. I have had a total view of this process from the very first day the House sent over the articles of impeachment to us in May. With all due respect to the House, we didn't need to be told in the final arguments how important this vote was. I believe the quote was, this will, if you are like me, be the hardest and most difficult and the heaviest vote that you will ever cast in your time in the legislature. This vote will be the vote you're remembered for most. Our members already knew that and have known that for the last three months. If only the House members who voted for impeachment would have followed that instruction in the House, we may not have been here. In the House, the vote to send the articles of impeachment against the Attorney General to the Senate happened in only a few days with virtually no time for 150 members to even study the articles. The Speaker and his team rammed through the first impeachment of a statewide official in Texas in over 100 years while paying no attention to the precedent that the House set in every other impeachment before. In the past, the House had transparent and open investigations for all to see, including other House members. The target of the investigation was notified and invited to attend with counsel and given an opportunity to cross-examine witnesses that were placed under oath before testimony was taken. At the conclusion of past House investigations, the evidence was laid out for weeks for House members to evaluate, not hours, before they took their vote on articles of impeachment. Representative John Smithy, a longtime House member who has argued cases before the Texas Supreme Court, spoke on the House floor during impeachment vote in May. He was one of only 23 who voted against impeachment. Representative Smithy said the House could not legitimately impeach General Paxton on the record because there was no record to send to the Senate. He said the House was not following the rule of law. He said the House approach, and I quote, Representative Smithy, hang them now and judge them later. Confirming this, Representative Murr, the chair of the House Investigating Committee, said on the House floor, the House is not the body that does the fact-finding. The fact-finding occurs in the Senate, and the oath for any witnesses would occur there. Well, that's just not true. As Representative Smithy said, that's exactly what they did in 1917. He said the last House impeachment of a statewide official in 1917 was Governor Ferguson. John Smithy said it was conducted like a full trial before the House sent it to the Senate. Witnesses were put under oath and cross-examined by the defendant. He said this time no House witnesses were put under oath and the defendant was denied the right to cross-examine. 
Representative Smithy told his fellow members the House process was indefensible. Representative Smithy said the House did not follow the rules of evidence and their case was based on triple hearsay that would never be allowed in court. I think Representative Smithy's speech was one of the most honest and courageous speeches I've ever heard of in the House. And if you want to watch it online, go to YouTube. Look up John Smithy, that's S-M-I-T-H-E-E, his floor speech on the Paxton impeachment. It's an amazing, courageous speech to give when he knew he was only one of 23 not voting for impeachment. In the next regular session, we should amend the Constitution on the issue of impeachment as currently written that allowed this flawed process to happen. Any testimony given in a House impeachment investigation must be given under oath, and the target of that impeachment must be allowed to present with a lawyer to cross-examine the witnesses. Otherwise, people can say anything they want without any accountability or need to be truthful because there is no threat of perjury. The House must also give members a minimum of two weeks to review all evidence given under oath before voting on such a serious matter. Had they done those two things, this trial may never have happened. And when the House sends articles of impeachment to the Senate, if they do in the future, the officials should not be put on unpaid leave through the process. The federal system does not allow that. Why do we allow that in Texas? President Clinton and President Trump did not have to step down from the Oval Office from their duties during their impeachment process. And members, this is not a partisan issue. We owe it to future legislatures to make these changes so that no future official impeached by the House, whether Republican, Democrat, or Independent, is subject to the way this impeachment process occurred in the House this year. Millions of taxpayer dollars have been wasted on this impeachment. 31 senators and a large Senate staff that made this trial possible have put their family life, their jobs, their business on hold for the last three months after already being here from January to June. I'm going to call next week for a full audit of all taxpayer money spent by the House from the beginning of their investigation in March to their final bills they get from their lawyers. We will provide our cost as well that were forced on us by the House impeachment. One big difference, we didn't pay a huge team of outside lawyers and investigators. We did it mostly with our own staff, working endless hours with no extra pay. As Representative Smithy said, this is not the way it has happened in the past in the House. That's why I believe we've only had two prior impeachments. Our founders expected better. It should have never happened this year, and hopefully it doesn't again, unless we address this in the Constitution. And finally, members, may God continue to bless the greatest place God ever created on earth, the place we call Texas. We are the envy of the world. We are the America that all America used to be, and that's why people move here from every state in the Union by the hundreds of thousands every year. Members, each of you took an oath on the Sam Houston Bible on the first day of this trial. And I know no matter how you voted, you lived up to that oath and how you saw the evidence. I thank you again for the professionalism you demonstrated every day for the last three months. I'm honored and I'm proud to serve with you as Lieutenant Governor. Members, a judgment of acquittal or dismissal on all articles of impeachment satisfies, satisfies Texas Constitution Article 15, Section 5. I will now sign the final judgment. This judgment will be filed with the Secretary of State and Attorney General Warren Kenneth Baxter Jr. is hereby, at this moment, reinstated to office. The President's desk is clear and there is no pending business before the Senate. I'm now going to recognize the Dean for a highly privileged motion. The next thing I will do is have the jury retire, so lawyers and House managers, everyone stay in your seats for the the uh, members of the jury leave. Senator Whitmire. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that the court of impeachment is hereby dissolved and we adjourn sine die pending submission of the final judgment to the Secretary of State. Is there any objection? Hearing none, this concludes 
The proceedings, the court of impeachment is hereby dissolved and we are adjourned sine die pending submission of the final judgment to the Secretary of State. Thank you, members.